fixing a car, and making the world a better place. Famous American author and iconoclast, Henry David Thoreau typifies the very definition of a successful person. During the Spanish-American War, Thoreau made a decision to not pay his taxes because he believed they were being used to wage a war he felt was unjust. He went to prison rather than to compromise his moral principles. When his friend and fellow author, Ralph Waldo Anderson, admonished him for his crime and asked him, What are you doing there? He replied, Ralph, what are you doing out there? Thoreau once said, If a man does not keep pace with his companions, perhaps he is because he hears a different drum. Let him step to the music which he hears, however better but far away. In practicing civil disobedience, Despite the legal and social ramifications, Thoreau was an interesting success. <coughs> As I look out into the audience, I wonder how many adults have been able to make dreams when they were my age. How many dreams have been fulfilled? How many of you feel you have achieved true success? If so, is your definition of success the same now as it was when you were our age? I believe that true success comes only with true happiness. Only when we are proud of who we are and what we are doing. We must remember that we all are unique. We possess a combination of qualities and characteristics that are unlike any other person that has ever lived. Personal traits that we perceive as negative are simply unique parts of our being. Our intelligence, our physical appearance, emotions, and passions are all components that make up who we are. We are in a sense perfect in ourselves. This feeling of perfection is not one of conceit, but of inclusion, because everyone in this world is unique and therefore perfect. We should develop and celebrate our perfection and not be crippled by how others view us. We should not conform to anyone else's plans or hopes for us or feel as if we have a certain standard to uphold. Our expectations for ourselves should be the only expectations we strive to receive. I encourage each and every one of you to discover what you are meant to do in the following years. It may be difficult, but there are always obstacles that must be overcome on the road to success and happiness. We must overcome adversity from without and within to become whole as a person. The path to self-discovery is long, but the rewards are infinite. Sometimes we need to be reminded that it is not necessarily where you are, it's how you got there. Remember to enjoy the trip. Enjoy the time that you are on this earth. Appreciate the ongoing process of self-discovery. Think of graduation as another step in the long journey of becoming who you were meant to become. Take it all in stride and relish it until the journey comes to an end. Thank you and congratulations.
superintendent and all others that are among the audience to witness this joyous occasion, which we're about to partake here in a couple of minutes. I just have a couple of things that I'd like to run through, which is, that since this is a formal affair, I would like to ask that anyone in the audience uh, that has brought anything such as an air horn or extreme noise maker to please say that for when we go outside. Uh, we'd like to dedicate our graduates with the utmost respect that they deserve, plus the fact that we're in the gym. So if you please uh, just applaud and do that type of recognition to your organization. Due to the crazy weather that we've had, I would like to personally recognize some people that put this all together for you all. Uh, Friday afternoon, the first is Mrs. Falls back there, the keys around her uh, chain. We thank you for supporting this class and for all that you've done for them. Thank you, Mrs. Falls. Students who have traveled the hallways 
of Rome County High School in a wheelchair. Neither of them can walk, and both of them have been confined to the wheelchair since birth. Their names are Mr. Adam McCoy and Mr. Gibby Moles.
John S. Dudley.
seed shaper. Holly 
Ian Wright. Kimberly D. Young. Christopher J. Jones. Randy Ian Truman. Ladies and gentlemen,